We're back. I had to come back and get some more. Is their Chipotle better? Little sign. So I went to Gusto. I mean, this is the second time coming into in a, a day and a half. So I would think that, yeah, the, their food is pretty good. This is their Chipotle esque bowl. It has like, um, you know, Tex Mex, but also has mango in it. So fruit always makes it a little bit better. This is the chicken. I got mixed greens, half greens, half rice. Oh, my mouth's watering. Chicken, chipotle, mango, avocado. <sighs> she, she spelled my name right. Okay, she spelled my name right. Oh, they never spell my name right. I say Maya, like M Y A M I Y A H M Y M I A I. They spell it wrong all the time. Points for spelling my name right. Ding. Let's taste it. Is their chipotle better? I'm mean, I'm curious to find out. Inquiring minds want to know. And they do give you free chips. Chipotle. How much does chipotle charge for chips and avocado? Like an extra four dollars. And these chips are delicious. They're sweet potato, not corn. So I don't know if that makes a difference to anybody out there. They're delicious. They're super, super good. Nice and crispy. Let's try one now. Look at that. I looked up a video last night because I wanted to make them. And someone who works at, at, at Gusto said they um, slice them super thin and then they soak them overnight and then they fry them to get all the extra starch out of it. Crispy, salty, sweet. Mmm. The chips are so good. Chipotle is good too though. I love Chipotle. And they gave me free candy. They got free chips, free candy, free fruit, free avocado. I don't know. I'm not looking too good for your Chipotle. Oh my god, they're gonna give me a fork. That's not a good sign. Alright, we're back. Got a little bit of cheese, a little bit of fruit, a little bit of chicken, a little bit of rice, a little bit of um, beans. They give you a lot of chicken, which is good, I guess. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm, 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 crucial key point to making it taste even better to making it taste good in some people's opinion sometimes my opinion these sauces are very strange like no the, the weird the strange part is when i tasted the other sauce it tasted weird but when i mixed it with the food it was good this one also tastes weird but when i mix it with the food i can guarantee it's gonna be good this is messy it's a messy job someone's gotta do it taste 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 drip 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 drop drip drip and drop they know what sauce is gonna taste good with it like they know the perfect finishing sauce or something because to me it just tastes strange on its own you can't taste it i need more sauce that's good that's good I wish I had more cheese. That's um, how Chipotle differs. You can ask for more cheese while they're making it. So you can see, they didn't put enough cheese. Put me, give me some more cheese. Now, I think I've tasted enough. Still kind of deep in it. Would I say it's better than Chipotle? They're different. They're delicious. They're both good. Only difference is that Chipotle gives you different salsas. To give you an example of what I typically get when I go to Chipotle, I get white rice. I never get brown rice. They only have brown rice as an option. So maybe from now on, I might start getting brown rice. Cilantro lime rice. This is just regular brown rice. Does the cilantro lime rice really make a difference? I don't. I, no. I would say no. Not to my taste buds, anyway. These are black beans. You have the option of black beans or pencil beans. I always get black beans at Chipotle. Chicken, also grilled chicken, kind of like this. I also get um, all the salsas. I get very, 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 like a little dab of the hot salsa because it's way too freaking hot. I'm very sensitive to spice. No. Mostly salsa verde, corn salsa, and pico. And then I get sour cream and lettuce. I pretty much get everything. Then I also use this green sauce. Um, what brand is that? I can't remember, but I'll put a picture somewhere in here. So is it better than Chipotle? I don't know, but it is equally as good. So if your friend wants to go to Chipotle and you want to get something else, you want to go to Gusto, you can go to Gusto because this is about the same as Chipotle and Gusto has more options. Sorry, Chipotle. Um, downside, 
Ghost only has like two locations, oh, I think. No. I found a gripe, guys. They give you a lot of chicken. Like borderline too much chicken. I feel like they put a whole chicken on this salad. It needs to be a perfect ratio. Chipotle gets the ratios right. Sometimes Chipotle doesn't give you enough chicken. That's the thing about people. We don't know what we want. Someone has to tell us. I was like, Chipotle doesn't give me enough chicken. Chipotle gives you enough chicken because now you got too much and you don't know what to do with it. Seriously, look at all this chicken. You see any rice anywhere? It's just chicken. What the heck? Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh, y'all. My bed's kind of messy. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm watching this movie on Netflix. The series is called The Night Of. It's a Pakistani guy. Um, he was trying to go out and have fun. He ended up encountering this white girl. She came into his taxi. She wanted to, you know, have fun too. So they ended up going off together. And somehow the girl winds up dead. That's like a long story short. At first the show was boring, but it started to get good. So... I'm watching it and I'm seeing what's happening. As soon as the girl wound up dead, he should have been like, oh my God, I'm a person of color. Let's call a lawyer. Even if he didn't have the money, somehow he got arrested. Like this show is crazy. I'm getting really into it. He meets the girl. She wants to go to the beach. They're in Manhattan. There is no beach. So she's like, take me to a river. He said, okay. He offers to take her to a river. I wasn't really paying attention what happened between them. Somehow they wind up back at her apartment. She likes to live on the wild side. So they get back to her place. They're taking shots. She wants to play Russian roulette with her hand. He's like, okay, that's strange. She takes the knife, you know, stabs through her fingers. It doesn't hit herself. Then he, she tells, dares him to do it. He's like, no. He's like, ha ha, he didn't stab himself. She wants to do a line of coke. They do a line of coke. Um, they start making out. I don't know if she, if she stabbed herself or he stabbed her. Somehow the girl wound up stabbed again. Like she had a big, like a gashing wound in her hand, but she was fine. It wasn't like life threatening. It was just like, I'm sure it didn't feel too hot. And you know, blood was coming out. They start making out. They go upstairs to his room. They have sex. And then I don't know if he blacks out or what, but she somehow winds up dead. He's sitting downstairs, um, in front of the refrigerator, you know, with a drink. And he's like, ah. and then he wakes up and he's like, Ugh, time for me to go. He has no blood on him, by the way. So th I'll just say that he goes upstairs to put his clothes on and leave. He's talking to her. She's not saying anything. He turns on the light. He sees that she's been stabbed multiple times. He's like, oh, I know he's probably thinking, did I do this? I don't remember doing this. I didn't do this. Did she stab herself? She was a little crazy. What happened? At that point, he should have went into that's when you really need to learn how to calm yourself down because he did everything wrong from that point. First wrong thing that he did, in my opinion. These are all Based, based on my opinion. He freaking ran out of the house, uh, ran out of a brownstone in the middle of Manhattan, runs to his cab and he's driving. There, there are people that would have recognized him because if he was acting so frantically. He was like, he almost hit somebody with the cab when he was driving out. Before that even happened, got to the cab, realized he left his keys, the, and then of course the brownstone door is locked. So he goes back to the brownstone, tries to open the door, it's locked. He breaks the door, he breaks the glass through the window to open it. And then the next in the neighborhood, the neighbor's like, what's going on? So the neighbor looks, see, sees a tall, skinny guy breaking into the breaking into an apartment that's what he's doing break into the apartment the guy goes in there he grabs his keys and runs back out the neighbor sees someone go in stay in for a minute and come back out guy and then the neighbor also sees this person drive off in the cab as it drive the cab off and then he gets pulled over by the cops why did he get pulled over he turned left on a red light got pulled over by the cops the cops just seemed like they were bored needed something to do and he just happened to make the illegal turn so they could they stopped him and the other cop was like he didn't really do anything the lady cop was i don't know she was trying to prove a point or something they got license and registration whatever then they got a call saying that a neighbor saw someone break into an apartment so this is the point when he he, he went desperate he went crazily desperately wrong and they're like should we let him go the guy's like, I don't care, let him go. She's like, no, we can't let him go. So they bring him with them, they bring him with them to the crime scene. At this point, he should have been thinking in his head, I need to call a lawyer. I need to call a lawyer. Because whether I kill this girl or not, I'm, they're going to think I did it. So I need to call a lawyer. That situation that just happened seems really sketch. The girl's dead. You were just with her. Blood, stab wounds. Something's wrong. You probably did it. So, of course, they're thinking, I need to call a lawyer. I need to call a lawyer. I need to call a lawyer. But he wasn't thinking that. He's probably thinking, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He had plenty ample opportunities to call a lawyer by the time the cops get to the crime scene they leave him in the car he wasn't even handcuffed he had he had a cell phone right there you know what i would have been doing i mean i wouldn't have wound up in this situation what he should have done in my opinion you know we're all critics what i think he should have done he should have took out his cell phone and called a lawyer he should have been looking up high-powered lawyers and be like yo i'm rich 
I need a lawyer right now. I need you to come down to where I am right now. And then he should have told the cops what happened. Actually, before he even got arrested, I, I think he should have told them what happened. But that, I don't know. But calling a lawyer, he had plenty of opportunity to do that. What happened? Oh my God, I'm like so excited. I can't even remember what happened. The cops go up there and see this been broken into. More cops pull up like, what's going on? You know, they're all kind of like, oh, what's going on? And then they end up going up and seeing that someone's dead. Like, oh, okay, someone's dead. Call the detective, call everybody. Somebody's dead. He didn't do it. He's just sitting there quiet. Like, I mean, I, I, that's the thing. Like, when you're in situations like that, you never know how you're going to react. Like, if something like that were to happen, how would you really react? Like, I'm saying, oh, I would call a lawyer. Like, who knows what I would do? I'd probably just be like as frozen as he was, or I'd be frantic. There's, there's no, ain't no telling. Ain't no telling him. He had so many opportunities to call a lawyer and get ahead of the situation. Like, I kept saying, get ahead of the situation. Don't wait until it's too late. Right now, this is a scene when it's too late. I ran out of the, uh, the precinct because he didn't get ahead of the situation. Like, he had plenty of time to tell them what happened. What happened? But, like, running out of there is not the answer. Like, for real, for real, you should have called the cops as soon as you found out she was dead. I didn't kill her. Do, 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 911. Um, I did not kill this girl. I'm not going down for this. I just want to call and get the get the cops here so they know what's going on, but I'm not going down for this because I didn't kill her. This is the address. I'm telling you where I'm at. Send the cops. All right, bye. Click. At that time, lawyer, yeah, come on down right now. I'm not spending the night in jail for this. I, I, it's crazy. This show is actually pretty good. I got into it, guys. I don't want to give away any more spoilers, but watch it. If you're watching this, watch the night of. Watch the night of on Netflix. It's pretty. Oh, this is HBO. This ain't even Netflix because Netflix is getting kind of boring. Season one, episode one, The Beach. I think there is only one season, which kind of sucks. You know, you get into a series and you want to keep watching it because you're obsessive like I am. <laughs> get into the show, guys. It's pretty good. This episode at least was good. I'm curious to see how it ends. There's 24 minutes left. I'm, I'm feeling sad for this kid at this point because at this point, he has not gotten ahead of the situation. He still has no grasp of what's going on. He's, he's going to be sitting in jail for the next year, at least, even if he didn't do it. Maybe we're going to find out that he did do it, and maybe he should be in jail. Who knows? Okay, if he didn't do it, who did? Because she was stabbed multiple times. Like, my thing is, there's no blood on him. That's my thing. The, the crime scene is bloody AF. When you pay attention, when you pay attention, the, um, what's the place called? The brownstone door locks. From, like it, it automatically locks me outside because as soon as he ran out the door and he tried to go back in it was locked so this leads me to believe that one either he did it two I'm still going with she might have stabbed herself because she was a little let's play Russian roulette with a stranger she was a little like I said she was a little out there one he did it maybe two she did it maybe three the person that did do it was someone that had a key lived there knew her had a key somehow had access to the building and don't they usually say like killers the killer is always someone that you know. Not always, but more than often, more than, more more times than not. If you're gonna get killed by someone, it's by someone that you know. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, guys, <coughs> I'm gonna watch the rest of this episode. <coughs> I don't even know if I'm vlogging vlogging anymore tonight, but um, yeah, get into it. It's called the night of. <coughs> this episode is called the beach. <coughs> Good night.